Hey guys, today we're going to be making a super duper delicious burger. And sorry that I haven't uploaded in a super duper long time. That's because, well, I'm pretty busy at the moment and I just had my exam and, you know, I just need to keep back and chill for a while before I need to upload again. And, you know, I need my gaming time. I can't upload videos all the time. And also, if you haven't noticed, I've also uploaded some videos in my gaming channel. So, if you haven't subscribed to my gaming channel, go subscribe to it now. It's HugeJojo, my name, and then add the, add the word gaming, and then you'll find my channel there. And please like the videos and subscribe. And I don't care if you turn the notifications on. Everybody just wants to. Alright. So, yeah, today we're going to be making a burger. And, you know, burgers are pretty delicious, so I'm just going to make that. And it has been also about a year since I has ever made a cooking video. So today is just going to be some, well, some time when I just take back the things that I used to do. So enjoy! Guys, today we're going to be making a burger. Look! A handmade steak. Ooh, it looks really juicy. Right, while that thing flies over here, we're gonna make, uh, so basically all the ingredients we're gonna need for the burger is, well, first, one steak, second, well, some tomatoes, like these small tomatoes are okay, but if you wanna use the big tomatoes, they're uh, alright, but I use, I'll use the small one because they're sweeter. And I like fruits. I prefer fruits more than vegetables. So, and then we're gonna be making the, what's this called again? The potato stash. So, I mean the mashed potato. So, all we're gonna need is a super large potato, a super sharp knife, I mean a super big potato, a super sharp knife, then cut them up into pieces about as big as these. So we're just gonna wash these little potatoes up, put them in this nice big bowl, and then for the tomatoes, I already cut them up and put them into this bowl. And if you want cheese, you can put the cheese into there and then add a little bit of water to microwave it. And we're gonna do that later. First of all, let's take a look at this juicy steak. Whoa! And it's ready, baby! So, uh, let's just press it here for just three seconds. Three, two, one, and then close the fire. Let the remaining heat fry it for about 10 seconds, then we'll put it in here. Um, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, done. Ah, saliva. All right, so we're done. Put it here, and then well, we're gonna need, need some lettuce. So here is the lettuce, and I'm going to scoop my steak into there. Can I? Can I scoop my steak into there? Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> so the lettuce is looking pretty good. And it's usually what big McDonald's use. So I'm going to use this too. And it definitely is one of the best food I have ever tasted. So yeah, it's pretty good. So look, I've put in lettuce the steak and the cheese. Now, just the potatoes. And then, well, the bread, yeah, let me talk about the bread. Uh, the bread, you, if you want the bread to be tastier, then you should just fry it for a while, like using butter and fry it in the pan for a while. But if you want it to be healthier, you should just use your, uh, this, your oven to bake it. But if you don't have an oven or a pan, then, you should probably just, well, don't bake it, you know. Even if you didn't bake it, it'll still taste good. Like, I don't think McDonald's baked their, uh, what do you call that, and then baked their breads. Or did they? I don't know. But still, even if you don't bake them, they still taste really, really well. Oh boy. 
this is going to be so big. <laughs> right, so now we're going to, ouch, we're going, where is my, we're going to heat the uh, sma mashed potatoes for the one last time because we put in some cheese, which I think we only need to put for like 30 seconds because it has already melted for a little bit. Press 35 seconds. Then our delicious dinner will be done. Yep, delicious. It looks fantastic. And it has definitely melted. So where is, yep, here is the spoon. Mix it with the mashed potatoes. And then our best meal of all time, plus double cheeseburger, or just single cheeseburger, will be freaking done. Yep, it's smashed. Now time for the taste test. Uh, actually, I'm the one who cooked it, so I'm the one who's going to be tasting it. But, you know, my mom can take part too. Like, she's my client, and she has to pay me for this. So yeah, that's a pretty damn awesome cooking video. So if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and smash the subscribe button so I would hit 20 subscribers before the school starts again. So I really want that and if I do hit 20 subscribers before school starts, I will do a super duper awesome giveaway video. I'm gonna be give away, giving away, well, random stuff to random people. Actually, no, just random stuff to my friends. So please, if you were seeing this video, please hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later. See ya!